I'm back in Cambridge for my final term as a chemical engineering student. And the way time flies is crazy because it feels like yesterday when I first started here and that was four years ago. But in that time, the one question I always get is what is chemical engineering? Now, yes, you can go on Google and type in the definition. But in this video, I'm going to give you the perspective from a chemical engineering master student at Cambridge on what chemical engineering actually is. So I'll start by saying how I got into chemical engineering and the application process, which beware has changed from when I applied in 2019. Then I'll go into what we learn and the principles we study as chemical engineering students, and then what careers and jobs you can get once you have a chemical engineering degree. So if you're new here, I go by the name of FaZe and you can find me on Instagram and TikTok at FaZe the First if you have any questions or want to message about anything I mentioned in this video. But if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. So the easiest thing for me is going to be talking about how I got into chemical engineering because that's my experience. So generically, I went to sixth form and I picked maths, chemistry, further maths and economics. And that was because I actually wanted to study economics. But after speaking to some people and my brother included who actually studied economics at university, I realised it probably isn't going to be for me. So I said, if I'm going to drop economics, I'm going to have maths, further maths and chemistry. And I need to see what subjects and degrees I can do in university with this combination. So speaking to a few people at my school, I came across chemical engineering. And yes, it sounded very cool. But I needed to know what is included if I'm going to devote a few years of my life into studying it. So towards the end of year 12, I went to a few summer schools, read a few books and listened to a podcast, specifically Intro to Chemical Engineering by Stanford University, which I highly recommend. And yeah, that was also give me an understanding and perspective of what chemical engineering might be before I experience it as a degree. Then it came around to applying and yeah, like I said, the application process has changed. But two things that I did that probably you won't do if you're watching this as someone who's looking to apply is the natural science admission test, which has now been replaced by the engineering and science admission test. And I also went in my first year and studied natural sciences, which now in first year you go straight into chemical engineering. So now going on to what we study as chemical engineering students. And I find it easiest to explain what is chemical engineering by the scientific principles that we cover. So I like to break them into the topics. And this is for any chemical engineer, not just at Cambridge. They normally cover thermodynamics, heat and mass transfer, fluid mechanics and separations. Now, over the course of the chemical engineering degree, we touch on all of these modules or topics in some capacity, some a bit more than others, and some from first year all the way up to fourth year, and we take them. And the reason is because, let's say a chemical engineer, they work with a chemist to take what the chemist has made on a very small scale, so in a lab, and our job is to scale it up and make sure that we can provide this commercially and to the public. So a lot of these principles like thermodynamics and fluid mechanics will affect how that scale up happens. OK, so we have to learn about all of these different principles so we can ensure that we solve real world problems. So thermodynamics is mainly about looking at different chemical reactions and seeing how feasible they are to happen. So we look at the different properties like pressure, temperature and see is there any way we can optimize these to have a more feasible reaction. Then you have heat and mass transfer, which as the name implies, you're looking at how if a substance moves from one place to another, how does the heat transfer from that place to another? And also how does the mass do the same? Fluid mechanics is a really big part of chemical engineering because we work with a lot of pipes. So fluids are anything from liquids to gases. So their properties may change through these pipes so we can design the pipes efficiently. And then you have separations, which is very important in the refining industry. So if you're looking to separate a mixture of gases or a mixture of fluids, you need to know your separations to be able to design a distillation column, for example. Now, Cambridge is very unique because even though we learn all of these modules, we also have an aspect of biotechnology, which, as the name states, is a mixture of biology and biomedicine with technological innovations. This is one of my favourite parts about studying chemical engineering at Cambridge because it prepares you for different aspects of chemical engineering rather than just the traditional sides. So biotechnology is a very good aspect to have. Now, alongside all of the learning and the lectures, there's also a very big practical aspect. So as chemical engineering students at Cambridge, we have a research project which we pick in our third year and start to do in our fourth year. 
So my research is based on advanced materials and we've been working on it since the start of the year and now is the time where we're writing our dissertation. But we're in the lab a lot, almost 10 hours a week, and we're working close contact with our supervisors who help us understand, get things done. Now, because of how diverse chemical engineering is, there's so many jobs you can go into. So there's the energy industry, pharmaceutical industry, process safety, which is a big part. And we learn a lot about that in third year with our HAZOP studies. But you also have a lot of people that go into the food and beverage industry. And that doesn't mean restaurants and stuff like that. That's companies like Procter & Gamble or Nestle, which actually work on the manufacturing and the processing of these kind of foods and beverages. Of course, we've got people that go into research, which are the important people who are going to progress society and continue to solve these real world problems. So that's why I love chemical engineering. There's so many things we learn and there's so many skills that I'm going to take and apply into different aspects of my life. So if chemical engineering sounds like something that interests you, make sure you do your own research. And if you're interested in applying to Cambridge, go on the Cambridge Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology website, have a look at the entry requirements and best of luck with your application.